I got here before you. Oh, hi. <laughs> when I have lipstick on. <laughs> do you smell a visa or do you smell my new hair products? Hi. You're very cute. before you. Oh, do you want to lay down? Okay, cool. Okay, I'm not really going nuts, but I can't wait to show you what I do with nuts for Valentine's Day. That is so quick, easy, and budget-friendly, and it makes for the perfect gift to give to that special someone. <laughs> Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending, yes, on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I'm gonna be showing you what I do with nuts that is so quick, easy, and budget friendly. And did I tell you it makes for the perfect gift to give to that special someone for this Valentine's Day without breaking the bank. I can't wait to show you just how easy this is so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. I'm gonna quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it. And let's do some Valentine's Day DIYing with nuts. Candy style, kind of. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Getting started, you are gonna need a crock pot. Any size will do. I'm using this mini one and I'm gonna set it to the low temperature setting. How about your favorite nuts? I'm using these dry roasted almonds. These are a Kirkland brand from Costco. It's a larger bag. You really don't need this big of a bag, but because I'm making so many, I picked it up and it's a good buy. I'm gonna fill my crock pot up a third of the way full with these. You're also gonna pick out your favorite giant size chocolate bar. I'm using this Symphony one. You're gonna break it in half because you only need half for this size. And I'm just gonna go ahead and break it apart and add it to my almonds. You're gonna wanna pick up some of the Nestle Toll House semi-sweet morsels. Again, I went with a larger bag. You don't need this large of a bag. We're gonna add that to our favorite giant size candy bar Ask me the measurements, I'm not sure. You're just gonna go with it. One bag of these vanilla meltaways is a must and vanilla is definitely the way to go because it's gonna add that sweetness touch and just a touch vanilla to that cocoa. And you see how much I added. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on my crock pot here. We're gonna let this sit for about an hour. When I come back, doesn't look much like anything's happened, right? But this is where the magic happens when you start stirring it up and you're blending everything together. You're covering those almonds or whatever nut it is that you put in your crock pot. Yeah, isn't this just chocolate heaven here? Yes, it is. Oh, wait for it because this is such an easy Valentine's Day candy gift that anybody is absolutely gonna love to receive. For this next step, yep, an ice cream scooper is the best way and easiest way to go. I'm not using a fancy one. This is just one of those half scoopers, half scoopers, yes, why not? By Betty Crocker that I got from none other than the Dollar Tree. If you've got one of those fancy ones with the handle that helps you take out the contents of whatever is in your scooper, that's probably the easiest way to do it, but you can see that the way I'm doing it is fine. Making a few piles of my almonds and chocolate, which is then going to give us chocolate covered almond clusters. Yes, we're making clusters. How easy is this? 
This is literally a dump and go recipe. It is so easy and who doesn't love chocolate covered nuts in a cluster? Like I said, you pick what nut you want to make. I love almonds, I love a few nuts. So that's what we're gonna be making today. I'm gonna show you a few different recipes. If you wanna pop these in the fridge, you can to speed up the hardening process. I just left mine out for a couple of hours and you can see just how perfect these solidified, hardened up, yeah, why not? And here I just made a bunch of clusters that I am going to be gifting. My hands are clean. No, I'm not wearing gloves because my hands are clean and I don't have COVID and the people that I'm giving these to trust me. And so yeah, I'm being safe. You can see my hands are very clean. <laughs> anyway, yes, you can go ahead and put these in a bowl and I would say to store them in the refrigerator because at room temperature, they will kind of melt a bit and stick together. So storing them in the fridge is the best way to go. Like I said, choose what nuts you wanna use. I also picked up a bag of, what were these, cashews. Yes, cashews are another one of my favorites and using the same recipe, I did the same thing. Peanuts, almonds, pecans, macadamia, you pick. It's Valentine's Day, so whoever you are giving these sweet clusters to, ask them what their favorite nut is. I guarantee they're not gonna expecting this, especially if they love chocolate. I gotta tell you, I have got the biggest sweet tooth thanks to my mom and these cashew clusters were amazing. I actually had to put the bag away because every time I walked into the kitchen, I found myself grabbing one to snack on it. Very addicting because they're so good and they're easy too. Do you see how easy these are? You know I'm all about alternatives, so here is another alternative. If you wanna go with a bit of an easier recipe, you can use almond bark. They've got a vanilla flavored almond bark. You can find this at Walmart. This is a great value brand. It's about $2 a block and it's microwavable. So easy to work with. It also comes in the chocolate flavor. This is a milk chocolate. I'm gonna show you a recipe for dark chocolate. There may be another way, but Hershey's got this amazing special dark chocolate bar. You can get these at Dollar Tree, two for a dollar. And who doesn't love Hershey's chocolate bars, right? So we're gonna go ahead and just break up the dark chocolate bars. And to this dark chocolate, you are going to wanna add a bit of the vanilla. So I'm gonna go with the almond bark and just add two blocks. Now this is not going to ruin that dark chocolate taste. I promise you that after, I wanna say about an hour, mm-hmm look at the magic of we just made some dark chocolate covered almond clusters yum let me show you how to package these using some yes cupcake wrappers holders wrappers holders or wrappers you say potato i say potato i'm gonna place one cluster in each because packaging is everything right of course, we're perfectionists here. And you're gonna pick your favorite Valentine's Day box from Dollar Tree and you're gonna place them in there. If you really wanna seal these up, you can put some saran wrap over the top or place them in a baggie. And I can promise you that whoever receives this is absolutely gonna love it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Sherry Lynn, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY Jenga block US flag. I am loving that rustic look that you added to each of the blocks. Absolutely amazing, Sherry. Thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. How stinking adorable are those? And how easy is it? And did I tell you? It's budget friendly, right? Right. I hope you all enjoyed today's Valentine's Day gift idea. These clusters are a great gift to give to anybody without, yeah, breaking the bank. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, 
I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please. And bye for now, everybody.